Um, how, Ali, are you familiar with quantum theory, hum, human quantum theory at all? Uh, to some extent. Depends where. Um, all right. Have you heard the term the cat in the box by Schrodinger's cat? Cat in the box. Uh, no, I haven't. So if there is an observer watching something, they can interfere with it. But if there is a cat in the box and there is no one there observing it, how do you know if the cat is alive or dead until you go and open the box? The quantum entanglement. Sure. Okay. So we're at a state, what you're describing is quantum disentanglement, which is something that I put in, I layer into my, my spiritual contract revocations. Quantum disentanglement. When one is aware, fully aware, and in, in engaging in, in the ability to observe time, you are influencing it in some way, shape, or form. Even if it's just as a basic, basic waveform of time, like I was describing, and you're just a piece of white noise in the background. It doesn't matter. But if you make a splash into time, what are you doing in what I call socially agreed time? You are quantumly entangling into another social agreement and trying to change their social agreement at a collective level forced choice. So it's collective force evolution. That's, that's the uniqueness of the game being played here. And Andre, I've never said that out loud before. <laughs> so don't bother searching for it. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I... I get it because you've you've sort of planted that with me for a while. But one of the yeah. videos I actually did just before Christmas, um, you had Dale call up during one of the first um, Galactic mm -hmm. History shows after your event, 2013, yep. and he called it called in about is it okay for me to to change the frequency of the water in this creek that's going to influence a lot of people? And you actually said no, you'll be violating their free will. And um, what you said to him was, um, the key is focus your intent on servicing Earth. Focus your energy into servicing Earth because she has contracts with everyone. So yeah. if you feel like you want to change someone else's journey, then you're potentially creating karma for yourself because you're actually violating them and their own unique expression. And and that's I've, I've operated like that for a long time, but that's why I created that video because I don't feel people actually get it. No, they don't. So um, anything that you feel that another should change, I mean, to me it's like you're setting yourself up for karma because you're actually wanting to do something that may be in violation to that sovereign journey of that individual. And, it, yeah. and for me it's like if you want to be the change and you want to instigate change, you do it in service to Earth and then see what happens because then you actually complete the circuit and then the change actually happens and you're actually just operating in your frequency and that's all that matters, you know? That's the, right. that's actually the secret of how this reality works to me. It's like you don't actually... If you have an instance in you that you need, you perceive that something external to you needs to be changed, you can actually empower that to not change. Because that's the backwards bicycle. That's where things are upside down, you know. That's the upside down, inside out world we live in. Because what you what you don't so like invitation. and you want to change, you you create. You know, that's that's the that's the negative placebo. You know. Yeah.